My name is Han Froman. I'm the lead for the ICE project at Blue Nova. I've been involved with renewable energy projects for the last 14 years. The ICE is a intelligent energy storage system. The ICE consists of a battery system, uh, which is managed by a BMS. Uh, it has a battery converter and an energy management system. In our case, we call it the RMAC. Now, our modular approach on the, on the ICE and scalable um, design makes it possible for us to build the ICE in, in various sizes. We can start with 100 kilowatt, 250 and 500 kilowatt power modules, and then we can scale the, the battery size from 150 kilowatt hours right up to 1.5 megawatt in a six meter container. We have a few applications that we've installed the system. The one is where it is applied in time of use and um, the other two systems are off-grid systems. Then for the agricultural industry, um, I think everybody understands that farmers are really uh, struggling with the current power uh, provider uh, with outages and weak grid supply. So the ICE provides uh, a very good grid support um, where the grid cannot supply enough power for them. They can use the, the ICE as a, as a power source. Um, we can offer backup. So if there's outages and, and power outage, the, the ICE will provide backup. And probably the most biggest advantage is you can go off grid and add PV to the, to the ICE and then have a full off grid solution. Uh, the design life for the system is 10 to 15 years and depending on how we apply the ice, um, we will probably have 80% retention of the battery system. So you would probably get, you can get more than 10 years out of the system. Um, and the cost would be during this lifetime definitely below 2 rand or around 2 rand per kilowatt an hour. Currently, if you have an SBOM connection, that would be more or less 1 rand 87 per kilowatt hour. And then you sit with an escalation that is yearly more or less 14 to 25%, sometimes twice a year. So you can see that this will, this will grow substantially over a 10 year period. So for the agricultural market, if a farmer wants to install the new power point, an ESCOM is not close by, it will cost him a substantial amount of money to get ESCOM to that specific point where he wants either irrigation or build a new pack house. When he installs an ice, including PV, he can run a total off-grid system and he can grow that system to eventually start his own grid on his farm and eventually be off-grid and terminating connection points with ESCOM and he is saving a substantial amount of money.